total exhaustion for me. I had no clue, honestly. A lot of people don't really understand it, but this is what truly makes it work. Good morning, my beautiful friends. This morning I woke up in Mallorca, on Mallorca. Is my microphone on? Yes, it's on. Yeah, I'm on a press trip here and it's not a press trip for YouTube. I have to write an article about the island, but basically the other side of the island, you know, because there's also more to Mallorca than only party vibes apparently and that's what i'm gonna find out and so i actually wanted to use this press trip basically to show you a tiny bit more what a press trip is all about a lot of people don't really understand it and i get that as well it's still also fairly constantly changing in a way especially for bloggers youtubers and whatever do you get paid for it or not? How does it all go down? Blah, blah, blah. And basically I just wanted to use these days to explain it to you a tiny bit more to give you some insight about it. So what I'm basically doing here this weekend is writing an article about the island for a travel agency in the Netherlands. Um, they have their own blog and I have to write one article for them. But for me, every press trip can be different but in general it's always the case with a press trip that everything that um, you do concerning transport hotel and usually also food is just completely covered and then it depends on the assignment from who it's from whether it's a travel agency or travel destination or whatever uh, whether it's paid or not and this one is paid as well. This is actually the press trip that I nowadays prefer. It's also an individual one. That's also a big difference. You also have sort of group press trips where, um, for example, they also invite other bloggers or journalists or whatever, and especially the combination of all kinds of uh, different kind of content creators is really difficult because everybody uh, wants to make and create something else. Therefore, after these six years that I've been doing this, for me, I really prefer to do it individually, that I can really do my own thing, do everything that I like, which usually my target group also really likes, and then the content gets even better. That's it for now. I'm just gonna explore this little village where my amazing hotel is in. I'm gonna show you the hotel uh, in a tiny bit as well about that actually an hotel like this is amazing very luxurious and everything but it doesn't mean that i wouldn't do this if i weren't sent here this hotel actually reminds me of a hotel that i booked for myself this winter time when i went on a like a week getaway and i didn't make any content about it it was really a holiday for me and um, yeah so things like these i would also still or maybe even more so nowadays do myself So although it's an individual press trip and I can do everything by myself, um, I have a few contact persons just on the island that I can call now uh, or that I also sort of have to call from the tourism agency and also from the travel agency so that I can go through the program that I sort of made up for myself. Maybe they can help me with something locally uh, or maybe they will join, but it's uh, very flexible, but I'm just uh, going to call them now. Hi, is this Tomé? Yeah, I stay in um, Santa Ponza. Yeah, I have a car, so I can easily come to you. Yeah, perfect. Thank you so much. See you tomorrow. My first goal today will be to find some beautiful beaches that are a little less touristy because there are so many tourists here. Um, or maybe just like the hidden gems coast-wise. And yeah, then just see from there. This radio is horrible here. Goodness. 
So next to writing this article, I have to make 10 good pictures of the island, of the things that I really like and can really recommend. And I think there's definitely a picture to be found right here. Okay, I think it's pretty impossible to not find tourists on this island, but this is also a very pretty one, I have to say. This island does remind me a bit of Ibiza, so if you're also a fan of Ibiza, I think you'll also like it here. There's also, in a way, a free vibe to it, honestly. Get some vitamin C. Oh, I still, I'm still wearing my sunglasses. Awesome. So I just drove. Oh. I just drove inland a bit. I drove to the Randa mountain. They say it looks a little bit like the Table Mountain in Cape Town and you know how much I love Cape Town. So I thought, let's just go here. Yeah, and apparently there are three monasteries here on this mountain. So what a coincidence in a way to hear the song, Losing My Religion. <laughs> And the beauty of it all is that there's truly nobody here. Silence. Silence. Nice. This is my future garden. Lemon trees. What a treat. I just went up the hill or up the mountain, I have to say. And um, in this monastery, thank you. In this monastery, there's a restaurant. I had no clue, honestly, no clue. And it's rated really well. So I'm just gonna have some lunch here. I didn't have lunch today. And look at my view. A few hours later, I really needed to freshen up a little bit. I had some food and basically now, Saturday evening, it's work time. Um, I hear the entertainment of the hotel in the background, but all I really need to do right now is check if I have at least four to five pictures and I need to figure out how and what I'm gonna do tomorrow. So I need to read a bit and um, yeah, See how I can still make the most out of these two full days that I have here. So um, yeah, let's get to work. Honestly, it's so nice to drive around here. The roads here are just perfect. People drive, in general, drive very relaxing, which is really nice. And I mean, look at this, this view. This right here, you can see it, is mineral water just coming from the mountains, the beautiful mountains that we just saw. You can just easily drink it. I just saw some hikers filling their bottles. So apparently you can do 
beautiful hikes here, obviously. Uh, I would have loved to do that actually, but I don't have enough time for that. But I can already just recommend it by just being in this area. It's just so amazingly beautiful, non-touristy, really beautiful. And while I'm here, I just really noticed that I really recharge in areas like this. It's probably for me a combination of growing up with holidays in Tuscany and Umbria. So being in the mountains and in a valley and whatever really reminds me of that. So it sort of feels like home in a way. And um, yeah, I just love these Mediterranean vibes. And at the same time, I'm a Capricorn, I'm an earth girl. So I really need to be in the mountains, on the mountains to really feel home as well. There, you guys, this is really the breaking point of total exhaustion for me. It's not necessarily this press trip, but I've been traveling almost non stop since April, and on press trips like these, I just really try to do so many things in a row in order to really get a good image of where I am which basically means that I'm doing almost four to five activities that you would normally do like oops, cat fight that you would normally do like one activity per day you know yeah just feeling a bit tired and smashed I really had some nice food just now with a typical Mallorcan dish which was really nice and I'm currently in Daya and this is apparently art musician and writers heaven a lot of famous writers and musicians and painters have lived here or still live here um, what I for instance didn't know was that Anais Nin lived here or has been here for quite a while I was always a big fan of her and I read some of her books when I was 16, 17, somehow I was, I was always really fascinated by her. So uh, yeah, she's been here, which is really quite cool to realize. The music that you now hear and this little cafe that you see uh, has been like the ultimate rock and roll cafe of this village. So a lot of musicians and artists and everything uh, did quite some uh, intense and heavy things down there. But all in all, I can honestly recommend this whole area around Daya, Solje, everything around the Tramontana. <sighs> Amazingly beautiful, so stunning, really worth it and completely what you wouldn't expect or what I really didn't know of the island. And of course, I also wanted to highlight some of the backstage things that are going down when you're on a press trip, such as total exhaustion. Um, but I guess for this one, it's also a little bit different because I'm alone and usually I, I can take somebody with me. And that really helps in assisting with content creation or traveling in general. And now I really have to do everything by myself next to simply traveling, figuring out where to go, what to do, blah, blah, blah. Creating everything that you can possibly create, thinking in content, etc. Um, yeah, it's quite a lot. So yeah, just now figuring out where to go next. Okay, time to wake up. So I feel a little bit re-energized again. And it's now five o'clock, so I decided to drive back to the hotel because it's still an hour. But here we are again with this amazing view. And next to this article and the 15 pictures actually that I have to make, I also have to make a little video of about 30 to 45 seconds of one location that I think is breathtaking. And this is definitely finally a view that I can actually stand in a normal way and I think is really, really pretty. So I'm gonna make that one here right now. But I'm also gonna drive back to the little beach where I was, I, I almost wanted to say where we were yesterday. 
and uh, make a little video of that one as well because the light will be much better in an hour even more so um, yeah and then I can choose either this one or that one let's see which one uh, will turn out to be better <laughs> and fun fact by the way or good fact I think this uh, Serra de Tramontana so this area with all these mountains and everything so much beautiful nature is a world heritage site very very good which basically means it's a protected area and after having been in Bali only last week I can only support that even more I mean we have to protect beauties like these right yes 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 simply going back to a location because the lighting is better you're either a blogger a photographer a video maker or whatever when you recognize probably now i have a few options i might even make another one of the view of the hotel because i like that as well so many beautiful views here but this is what truly makes it work what makes it work like work work you know also what makes it work but it's work it's really nice work okay sweaty and all but here's the room all clean and well how pretty is this and then you can already see it and i'll close the curtains but even this is already pretty Pretty is this. Okay. So I ended up in Polenza, and Polenza is apparently the hidden capital city of the island so it's not so well known but I have to be honest I'm just walking around here for 10 minutes and the vibe is so nice and it's such a pretty city honestly and you can shop here like crazy if you're also into a little bit more handmade or local stuff like me this is just paradise it's such a cute little city settings just at the airport or in the plane working already after a trip like this and especially when I need to write an article I think in general I was also able to really give you hopefully a good impression of the other side of the island I'm really impressed by it to be fair I really liked it and I really didn't know that especially the northern part of what I saw for now of course of the entire island I really loved it I can totally recommend it and I would totally go here for a true like hiking adventure one day or just a chilled out holiday really nice vibes yeah I'm really I really became a fan as you notice so I hope you got a good impression of Mallorca in this way but also how a press trip goes down for me at least um, and that you might also see that it truly is work as well of course it's an amazing job to do but it is work I want to thank you all so much for watching keep letting love rule and I hope to see you in the next one love you guys